All right, folks, let's talk GPS. No wizardry, no magic, just good old well science at work. It's what guides you to the nearest coffee shop, helps you avoid traffic, and sometimes ends up taking you through a cornfield. Let's dive into how it really works. GPS, or Global Positioning System, consists of 24 satellites circling the Earth, kind of like tiny floating GPS beacons up in the sky, all working together to help you figure out where you are. Each satellite is constantly sending out a signal to your GPS device, but it's not just sending random bits. It's like a little GPS, hello, hey, I'm here, and here's what time it is. Now, your GPS device listens to these signals, and it figures out how far away each satellite is by calculating the time it takes for that signal to reach it. It's like a high-tech game of how long did it take that sound to get here. But here's the catch. Your GPS device doesn't just listen to one satellite. Nope. It needs at least three satellites to figure out your location. It's like playing hide and seek. If you only have one friend hiding, you'd never find them. Your device measures the distance from these satellites by calculating the time delay in the signals. The tricky part, it does this all at lightning speed, using complex triangulation to figure out exactly where you are on the Earth's surface, and it doesn't stop there. The satellites themselves use atomic clocks. These atomic clocks are so accurate, they can keep time down to billionths of a second. Basically, clock nerds with superpowers, your GPS device takes those satellite signals, does some fancy math. Not just any math, but the kind that involves algorithms that NASA would be proud of. And it uses this info to calculate your exact location on Earth. And once it knows where you are, GPS doesn't just stop there. It factors in real-time data, like traffic patterns, weather conditions, and road closures. So it's not just telling you where you are, it's also figuring out the fastest, most efficient way to get there. Because even GPS gets frustrated in traffic. Of course, if you miss a turn, don't worry. GPS has got your back. It'll calmly go recalculating, like it's trying to find the least painful way to get you back on track. It's practically the ultimate road trip, buddy. So that's how GPS works. No magic, just satellites, precise time calculations, and some really smart tech making it all happen. The next time you get where you need to go, thank the satellites up there, because they've got your back.